Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Explore with Suchita. Today I am going to show you how to prepare very soft, very tasty and very de delicious buddhi style tatta idli along with that potato sago and red chutney. Please watch complete video for detailed recipe. Before that if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that if I publish any videos you get the notification. Please like my videos and share it with your friends. Today for preparing birdi style tatta idli, I have taken Salem rice or idli rice. Today I am using 2 cups of Salem rice. I am adding another 1 cup totally. 2 cups of Salem rice. It will be like this. And in the same cup, I have taken half cup of urad dal. Here I have taken half cup of thick poha. Take the measurements in same cup or same glass. Now I am adding around 1 spoon of methi. Once again I will show you the measurements. 2 cups of idli rice or salem rice. Here I have taken half cup of urad dal, 1 spoon of methi and here half cup of thick poha. I am going to wash this in the afternoon and I am going to soak it by using good water. And then evening I will show you how to grind and how to prepare the batter for bidadi tatta idli. Now evening I am grinding all the soaked items. First I am adding urad dal and methi, soaked urad dal and methi. Along with this I am adding soaked poha. By adding water, I will make it a fine paste. Now grinding of urad dal, soaked urad dal, methi and poa is done. I am going to transfer it into a big bowl. Now I am grinding soaked rice. By adding little water, I will grind this also. Now you can see I have grinded rice also. See once you mix this well like this, the batter for Buddhiti Tatta Idli is ready. I will show you the next procedure tomorrow morning. Buddhiti Tatta Idli is usually served with potato sago or bombay sago along with chutney. So today I am preparing potatoes for, for that I have taken two potatoes. I have cutted it like this. Now I am adding water, little salt. And little ground nuts. Now I will close the lid and allow it to pressure cook for two whistles. Now for preparing chutney, I have taken 3 chillies, red chillies, around 3 to 4 garlic. I am adding little oil. I am going to fry this. Little curry. Now I am transferring the roasted red chilli, garlic and curry leaf to mixer jar. Now I am adding little fried guns. Fresh grated coconut. Salt as per taste. I 
tamarind juice now i'll grind this now you can see chutney is ready now we are have taken a small pan i've added little oil mustard urad dal once the mustard starts popping i'm adding curry leaf now i'm adding prepared chutney to this tarka now for preparing potato sago or bombay sago i have taken pan i have added little oil mustard jeera chana dal now i am adding chopped onion and green chili curry leaves the onion is fried i'm adding ginger garlic paste and tomato today i'm using half tomato i'm adding little salt little turmeric powder now i am adding little ling once the tomato and the onion is cooked like this now i am adding boiled and smashed potatoes now i am adding boiled ground nuts i am adding water you can add water as much you need you can check the consistency as you required and you can add water main ingredient for preparing bombay sago is gram flour that is basin i have taken Two spoons of gram flour, and I'm mixing it with water. Mix it well so that lumps should not be there. If you add this, the Bombay sago will give you a good taste. It's the typical method of preparing Bombay sago. Now, once it is mixed, I'm going to add this to the potato mixture. once you add gram flour the consistency will start thickening now i am adding salt per taste and little jaggery this is also for taste now allow it to boil now i'm adding coriander now i'm adding freshly grated coconut Now I'm adding lime juice. Now it's boiling. Now Bombay sago is ready. You can see my tatterly butter is fermented very well. Fermentation videos I have uploaded previously. I will attach the link. You can check it. Now it's morning. I'm going to mix it well. You can see the bubbles. which is formed because of fermentation 
if the batter is fermented very well then the tail idli will be very good now i'm adding salt as per taste no need to use soda because batter is fermented very well this is known as tatta idli plates it will be round in shape i am greasing it with oil i am greasing all the plates with oil like this once the plates are greased with oil now i am transferring the prepared batter to this plates usually tatta idli will be slightly thick so add the batter Each and time while adding the batter to plates, mix it well. Mix it well and then transfer it to the plates. This is the tail stand. Now I will keep all the plates to this stand. So like this we need to keep the plates now in markets different varieties of stands are also available now we need to close it like this now it's ready see here i have taken cooker in that i have added little water for that i have added a pinch of tamarind so that the bottom will not turn to black color Once it starts boiling, I will keep the prepared tatta idli stand inside this. Once the water is boiling, I will keep the stand inside this. And now I will close the lid and I will allow it to cook for around ten minutes. Now tatta idli is also cooked. Now see if you touch like this, it should not stick to your hand. That's the indication of it's cooked. Now I am going to take this and I will allow it to cool. now you can see here i have taken one big plate in that i have added oil so that i can keep the plates like this so that it will cool very fast once it is cool i am adding water on the sides and using any one knife or spoon you can remove it like this very easily see it will come out very easily that's all now you can see very soft you can see the texture also is very soft biddi tatta idli is ready along with potato sagu or bombay sagu and this is red chutney and butter on the top of idli hope so you enjoyed my video if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that if i publish any videos you will get the notification please like my videos and share it with your friends thanks for watching